Hello everyone, my name is Spicy GB and welcome back to another episode of my Warrior Playthrough! Oh my god! In this episode what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to take down Duke Fishrom but before we do that we need to try and get the summoners. Now of course to summon Duke Fishrom you have to go fishing in the ocean with one of them little truffle worm things. So the first thing I need to do, I don't believe I've done any fishing at all on this rod so I'm going to have to go and buy myself a bug net from this guy. There we go. Hello, how are you doing, Mr. Merchant? <laughs> Hopefully you're all good. Right, and then the next thing we need to do is we need to go down into an underground mushroom biome. So the nearest one would be down here. There's kind of two next to each other here. Uh, oh, there's one over here as well. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So if we go down this crimson bit and then just keep heading right, we're going to find an underground mushroom biome. Nice, nice. Oh, yeah, and a bunch of my NPCs died because of a blood moon that happened. And I didn't manage to... Uh, I didn't manage to save them in time because I was elsewhere doing things. Oh, it kind of sucks, but oh well. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go, here we go. I am looking forward to getting this thing going. If we can get the flare on first time round, I'm going to be the happiest guy in the world. If not, then eh, it's not too much. Not too much of an issue. We could just keep farming him out and we can keep killing him and getting things that way. Okay, here we go. So, the best way I think, I feel the best way of looking for the truffle worm. <gasps> oh, there's one there! Okay, we have to be super quick. Okay, we have to be super quick. Right, how, do, how am I going to approach this? Oh boy! You can die! How the heck am I supposed to get this guy? Okay, I'm going to go over here. Because he's in the water. I don't think I can get him. That's right. That, yeah, unless he moves up. Can he, can he move up? Got him! <laughs> Suck on that, you son of a gun! Oh... You can't, you can't bloomin' hide from me. Use the bloomin' water as some sort of fail-safe. The hell do you think you are? Some sort of genius? No, sir. No. You are not. Not by any stretch. Right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to cover up a bunch of this water. So, obviously, the worms don't spawn in the water anymore. And from there, we should be able to easily get these guys to spawn in. Right, okay. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of this part. Or this thing. Blooming mushroom tree. Who needs that? No one needs it. So what I tend to do is I tend to make some sort of uh, underground mushroom truffle worm capturing farm thing. It works pretty well, but it does involve me doing a lot of things. So, hold on. Can I do this? Yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, let's just carry on. I'm making some stairs so the worms can go up and down the stairs. Because apparently they can't go up the actual blocks themselves. So that we have to get them in to go up a, uh, a smooth slope like this. Alright. Okay. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, and if we grab this and get it in our hot... God damn it. Will you please go away? You are such an idiot. Stupid bat. Stupid fat bat. It is a very fat bat. Alright, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, the guy survived. Yeah. Right, okay. Uh, mushroom seeds. Let's put one here just to speed, it, speed the process up a wee bit. Okay. Oh, God, there's so many guys around here. It is ridiculous. Okay, you're dead as well. Mm, didn't even know this was a place. Stupid thing. Hello, how are you doing? Is there another worm somewhere? Sure would be nice. I know they spawn quite rarely, so I do have to consider that. But, when they do spawn, they're pretty nice. <laughs> well, actually, no, maybe they're not. Not really, because, uh, you know, they try to get away from you if you even get anywhere near close to them. The heck? That's kind of weird. Oh, hi, how are you doing? Oh, Mr. Worm! No? No worm? Okay. All right, all right. Doesn't matter too much. Doesn't matter too much. The reason why I'm trying to get more than one is just in case we fail and we can just go ahead and take him down again. Hold on, this is the wrong kind of block. I need to convert this into mud. Mud is needed. Nothing else. Just mud. It will convert itself into mushroom grass and then the truffle worm should be able to spawn on that. So here we go. Oh man. Right. Okay. So let's get rid of this part. There we go, like so. Oh, hi, how you doing? Well, okay, let's make another slope down here, shall we? Okay, it shouldn't be too difficult. Boom, 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 boom. Change that into mud. So we're going to make the uh, biome come all the way over this way. We want to have as much mushroom grass as we possibly can. Okay, so from doing that, we should be able to get a bunch of uh, truffle worms to spawn. The more spawning spaces they have, the more they're going to spawn, basically. Alright, anywhere? Hmm. Nowhere else for now. 
that is a spider biome, which apparently I've explored before, although I can't remember it to be honest with you guys, but uh, it doesn't matter too much. Pretty cool, I'm okay with it. Oh, the wizard has arrived. How are you doing, Mr. Wizard? <laughs> Stupid wizard. Thinks he's so good. Right, okay, so what else have we got in terms of uh, preparation? We have got... Hold on. Take this poor sucker down. We have the Flask of Icor. We have the Hunter Potion. We've got these uh, pad ties, which is awesome. Okay, I am. I think I am pretty prepared for this thing. Hmm. Okay. Hmm, I really would like to get one more of these dudes to spawn in though. Alright guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to when I hopefully find another truffle worm. And I shall see you guys, hopefully, when I found one. Oh, I see a truffle worm! Oh, don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him. I'm trying to kill this guy instead. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. I should be able to easily capture this guy, okay? Easily capture this guy. Let me just get rid of this and... <gasps> got him! Yes! Oh, yes! Okay, we've got two out of two so far. Two out of two. This is good. Should we get one more just for good luck? Just for good luck? I think that might be a cool idea. All right, guys. Let me find a third one, and I should be back with you guys in just a second. Ooh, a heart container. Ooh, I see truffle worm number three, ladies and gentlemen. This should be pretty easy, right? Oh, yes! <laughs> oh... I don't know why some people seem to have great difficulties trying to capture the uh, truffle worms, but I don't know. If you get it right, then it's pretty easy. So, yeah, that's a thing, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I also had two mimics spawned right next to each other, which was pretty damn rare. We got two titan gloves from it, which not really needed, I'll be honest with you guys. But, oh, it doesn't matter too much. Right, okay, so. Let me just go ahead and do some things. Do some things with my inventory to clear it up a bit, because it looks a bit... Uh, well, I wouldn't say chocker, but there's still a bunch of crap in there that I don't want there to be. Right, okay, so let me just go ahead and put these spider fangs in there. Let's put the them in there. Okay, ores and gems. Boom. Okay, cool. Mob block. I can stack onto that. We have potions, like so. There we go. And a bunch of accessories, which we don't really need, I'll be honest with you guys. Right, okay. Let's put that in there. I think the only accessory I'm going to have great difficulty in getting is the uh, is the vitamins, or vitamins as some people call them. Uh, because obviously the, the corruptors, if we had a corruption world, it would be a bit easy to get because, you know, the corruptors drop the vitamins. In, uh, in a Grimson world, I'm pretty sure the only things that could drop them is those little toxic sludges. You know, the slimes that look like they have a happy face on. So, yeah, and they're pretty rare as it is, so... Yeah, it's going to be a bit difficult to try and get the Ankh Charm, but I'm not going to give up. I will still try to get that. Right, okay. And obviously, I think the only th other thing we need is a fishing pole. Do we have a fishing pole? I feel like I haven't. Uh, fishing pole? No. Okay, do I have any Crimtain? No? Really? Really? I haven't got a lot of stuff. Okay. I'm kind of surprised. I thought I had a bunch more stuff than this. Hmm, I must have sold on my crimtain. That was a bit of a dumb idea, wasn't it? Right, okay. I need to try and find some lead. I want some lead. I'm pretty sure I have some lead somewhere in here. I remember seeing some inside a chest. Chest? Lead ore. There we go, fantastic. That's exactly what I need. Okay, so lead bars. Make all the things. There we go, 25. We should be able to... Yep, yep, yep. Cool. Should be able to make this, and we have... Okay, so that should just about wrap that up. If I just grab some more blocks, I'm going to head over to the ocean biome and we're going to start constructing some sort of platform. Yep, that shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, so I've got wood, I've got torches. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I need. I've got healing potions. I'm going to replace the uh, the spectre boots with the charm of myths just so I can do... I don't know, just so I can heal a bit more often, I guess. So, yeah. But for now, I think I'm just going to put them on just so I can get to the other side of the world a bit quicker. All right, this should be... Uh, this is going to be interesting, ladies and gentlemen. The thing I'm probably going to use to take him down is the uh, is the vampire knives. Because, uh, you know, I'm not too confident in terms of using my terror blade. Yes, I know it absolutely rips everything apart. But uh, I just feel like it won't do the job. Because he does a lot of damage. You have to remember that. The, uh, the blooming Duke Fish one dude does a hell of a lot of damage against you. Right, okay, here we go. Literally just roaming across the world. There are so many stars, but I'm not allowed to use the stars for anything, really. Uh, which is why I'm really leaving them behind. I mean, yeah, I can increase my mana, but my, I can't use mana, so... Yeah, I've still only got 40 mana. Uh, oh my god, that's ridiculous. There's so many stars down there. Is it because uh, it's a full moon? 
Because I saw the werewolves out. I'm pretty sure the werewolves only come out when it's a full moon. Hmm. Interesting. I have no idea. So there was one there. And one there. And one there. Hold on a sec. Hold on. I want to take one of these guys down. Go on. Get out of the way. Go on. Go on. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're dead. You're dead. And you're dead as well. I want a moon charm. I want to become a werewolf. Because I feel like that's pretty fun to do. <laughs> right. Okay. This is already relatively flat as it is. Hmm. Okay. That's pretty nice. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I am going to flatten out this land. And I shall meet you guys back once we are ready to get on with this battle. Whoa. Alrighty, guys. I think I am just about ready. If we just look at the map really quick, you can see we've got an absolutely massively flat piece of land. And this should be plenty enough to keep us from dying. I hope so anyway, because if it isn't... And I'm gonna be a mad python. Oh my god! Right. So as you can see, I've got a bunch of uh, I've got a bunch of campfires spread out. So that should just about uh, do it for health regen. I noticed there was a tiny bit which didn't have health regen. Let's just uh, make sure everything's got it. Yeah, it looks like it has. Okay. We should look. What? We just got a pirate map from that slime. Yo! <laughs> nice. Okay. That was unexpected, but that was pretty cool. We've got a steampunker who's just arrived. I'm pretty sure she's the person who sells a teleport, which is awesome. Alright. Guys, this thing lasts for 15 minutes, okay? If we defeat the first one, there is a possibility we can do the other two, okay? If we can do that, then we can just, we can, like, make the full efficiency out of this or use everything out of it, I guess. I don't know. Uh, anyway, without further ado, let's do this thing. Oh man, I'm not looking forward to this. I'm not looking forward to this. And buff and jig fish run and boom and go. Time to go, baby. Time to go. I am not looking forward to this. Oh boy, it's been. A, I feel like it's been a long time since I've taken this guy down. So I need to try and. What I normally do is I normally fly in a figure of eight. That's how I normally do things. Okay, he's down to forty thousand health already. Okay. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Haven't taken any damage. Could this be a flawless fight? I feel like it won't. <laughs> Especially when he gets into his second form. He gets real mad. Look, he gets properly mad. Right, okay, oh, there's all the little shark things that he attacks me with. Ah! 69 damage. Really? That number? Had to be that number. Great. Oh, God. Okay, he's in the second form now. Now we really need to be careful. I think I forgot to change out my, uh, my Spectre boots. Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay, still got to be careful. Very, very careful. Ooh. 15,000. Like I said. <laughs> I feel like this is a good idea. Not... Oh, God. Okay, careful, careful, careful. Still haven't used any health yet. I should be good. Okay, there's a tornado right there. Have to be careful of that. Okay. Oh, boy. That one just dissipated, which is good. Come on, where are you? Where are you? 4,000 health. Come on. Uh, this has almost been a flawless fight. This has almost been a flawless fight. Oh, God. Careful, careful, careful. There's another one. Thing, 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 thing. Is he dead yet? Is he out the game? Is he out the game? Oh, he's out the game! <laughs> oh, what did we get? Oh, we got a Tempest staff. Oh, we're not allowed to use that. That's a summoning weapon. Gosh darn it. Wow. That was actually really easy. <laughs> we barely lost any health at all there, but I shouldn't get too cocky because, you know, with Jigfish Run, you could have full health and you could die within seconds. It's ridiculous. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and time lapse the other two fights for you guys. So without further ado, let's get on to fight number two. What's it? Oh, that's a bubble gun. Damn it! Oh, oh man, that's that's a real bummer. We've got a Duke Fishron trophy and a mask from that, though, which is pretty awesome. Shall I put this thing on? There we go. Just to show who's boss. There we go. <laughs> nice. Oh, right. I'm going to be defeating them, Who, even though he's going to look like my own kind. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Fight number three, ladies and gentlemen. Time lapsing, time lapsing it again, so I shall see you guys after the fight. Yeah. 
Oh, there's number three. He is dead. What is it? Is it a flare one? Oh, no. Oh. Are you for real right now? Uh, a summoner, well, two summoner weapons and a magic weapon. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not the result I was expecting. Yes, we absolutely pwned him, but we didn't get anything good from that apart from a trophy. Gosh darn it. I, I'm, oh, I'm salty about that. I, I'm a bit salty. I'm not going to lie right now. Can I put that up? There we go. Hey. <laughs> Yay, I got a trophy. I'm so happy right now. We've got a Wall of Flesh trophy, a Brain of Cthulhu trophy, and a Duke Fish one trophy. Do I have another one anywhere? I feel like there might be a couple more trophies inside the uh, furniture chest. Any? Is there any in here? Um, no. There is not. Ah, oh, man, that's disappointing. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, guys, we did a pretty good job of taking him down. We're going to have to try and take him down uh, some more in the future so we can try and get the flare on. Because that is one of the goals for me to get. Uh, you know, get the flare on, get the terror blade. Already got it. Got the uh, vampire knives as well. Already got that. That's pretty cool. And uh, the horseman blade is another thing I would like to get. But in the next episode, we are likely going to try and take down our first hard mode event or end game event, as some people call them. I uh, will probably be trying to take down the uh, the was it the pumpkin moon first because it's slightly easier than the frost moon. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course you want to see more of the series, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But for now, it is time for me to go. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.